Hello, I'm John Peel. And I'm John Walters. This is the Video Jukebox. And that, of course, was Bohemian Rhapsody, commonly held to be the first rock video with enough impact to create a hit. But as this programme will show you, music has been promoted visually for more than half a century. In this unique omnibus extravaganza, we'll be showing you some of the best rock videos and films, including work by The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, Michael Jackson, The Complete Thriller, uh, Vienna, Aha, etc, etc. And we'll be hearing from some of the leading video performers, including half-hour interviews with David Bowie, Madness, and David Byrne of Talking Heads. In fact, here he is now. We're not talking about uh, one, one depressed person on the road to nowhere or one group, of, one group of people or one group of musicians. We're talking about everything you can think of. I think I was trying to settle on the kind of story I wanted to tell, and the most effective one at the time was something that I felt which was sort of alienated. So it was about alienation at the time. Um, I think I would work very differently now. I, I, I can still see alienation in other people, but I don't feel it anything like as strong as I used to feel. We've all seen a lot of videos, and you think, that was good, but I don't know what it meant. But uh, the, I think the, the ultimate videos are the ones where you don't say that. You, you look at them and you say, that, that was a good idea, and I understood it, and it, and it worked throughout. One of the worst things video does is, is kill a song in the sense that a great hit song in the 40s or even in the 60s had uh, an incredible social meaning and millions of people interpreted it in their own way and, and not even in one way. They'd listen to it in a car and it would mean one set of things. They'd listen to it in a bath, it would mean another thing. And when you make a video, you're really knocking it on the head saying this is the meaning of this song. You can take very serious, even philosophical themes and treat them in a popularist way. Um, in an extremely short time. You've got three minutes to just make an incredible impact on people's eyeballs instantly. And, you know, and it's quite... And it's a challenge to be able to hook somebody onto the TV screen for three minutes. You know, people have got, like, really low concentration thresholds these days. I think pop music, to a certain extent, has become less interesting because of what video has done for the artist. I think it's turned them into much more of a homogenised, controllable little property. This all talking about the new, the new art form is not so. I mean, the, the movies have always had music with them, always. Even silent movies have had music with them, always. And uh, so to say that, you know, music and, and visual image is a new and exciting, certainly exciting and certainly not new, <laughs> no.